We're not using common sense anymore. It's about pragmatism. Life is the Serengeti plane. Wear a cup. There's no load-bearing walls in that house of cards up on the hill. We're at a point right now where this country has to decide which way it's going to go. I don't have any pride about the authorship. It's just common sense what I'm pitching. Well, the freak show has taken its toll on me. <laughs> I've had to shrug for my own sanity. Uh, number two, David from Twin Falls, Idaho. Why do you think NBC is so eager to get rid of Jay Leno? I think they think he's square somewhere. People like to be hipsters. Jay's as hip as a guy as I know, but uh, I think he's also smart enough to realize that 11.30 on weeknights, a long, really great monologue over the years is key to keep people watching and to not, I don't know, serve the vehicle. The Tonight Show is a vehicle of commerce, and Jay, I think, does it great. And he's killed for years. But they always are thinking about Conan or Jimmy. Not that they're bad guys, not that they're not talented, but I guess everybody always wants to hip it up nowadays. But, man, I've always thought, I like Michael J. Fox's theory about you stay there till they turn the lights out. If you're winning, and you've been winning for years, Leno kind of tells you when he wants to go. And I don't mean in an officious way. Jay's not like that, but just, he's winning. You want to win. Why do you keep trying to get the guy who's winning out? You got six, you got him out once already when he was winning. <laughs> Brought him back, and he's winning again. Maybe not by as much as he used to win, but that's more on you. I like Jimmy. I think he'll be the guy for 20 to 25 years. That's the rash. Enjoy these samples of the bathroom sessions, a weekly video available only to members of the DMZ, the Dennis Miller Zone on DennisMillerRadio.com.